All right, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Johnny, Johnny the Chin Ellsworth and his career at Villanova. We are, um, how many weeks in are we? I don't know how many rounds we are. We're 12 rounds in out of 18, so, you know, hopefully we, we get there. We're 20th right now. We're doing okay, but I feel like... Maybe if we get a sh an upset win over Ohio State, that'll be helpful. We'll see what happens. Did I say Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium? New York EA hockey games are pretty good. Yeah. I've considered it. I might do that instead of NHL 2K10 just because, like, more, like, a little bit nicer, more possibilities. I have... I have one of them that I don't play anymore. I think it was like, looks like 17. I, I had 17, and I think before that I had 13. <clears throat> there we go. Well, it was looking a little over the first thing, but it seems to be clearing. Looks like we could be in for a fine afternoon here in Ohio and Villanova. Set to go, head to head. I forgot I also have the new SAO game, and it's been really fun. All eyes on the X now as we get ready to kick things off. Here we go. It's been it's been interesting. It's a lot more fun than uh, than it used to be. Oh, what am I supposed to have? By the way, three ground balls, less than twenty five intercepted passes. That should be fine. I barely pass. <laughs> Y'all don't know. I will say, um, I will say, I'm a little iffy about the, these people making, uh, if Big Ant actually does end up somehow making a college football game. I don't, I don't know how good it'll be because a lot of their, like, recent stuff has been, um, like, it hasn't been received well. Because the way it sounds is it sounds like they made a lot of the same type of game. Like, if I wanted the like, if I wanted to play, like, if I wanted to play their new tennis game or their rugby game or their uh, Australian football game, it would look virtually the same as this game. Like, music and all. Like, a lot of it, they take the same music. And uh, all that different style, and they just kind of like copy paste it to different sports. Moving it on. Come up with the possession. Hope you like salmon shorts and sailing off Cape Cod with other wasps. <laughs> It'd be not good and not polished. Yeah. That's the thing is that like I found out I was like looking up Big Ant Studios and they're just like oh yeah we have a new game called AO Tennis and you should uh, you should check it out and you know I saw that on their website and then I looked up like YouTube um, reviews for it and it was very like mediocre it was a lot of people going you know what it's it's very much a game it's playable but it's not great. <laughs> That tended to be kind of how it was, or just like, it's 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 a game that works, and that's about the best you can say about it. It looks kind of nice, but if you've played, if you've played one big ant game, you've played most of them, even with the vast differences in sports. I heard their cricket game was not good. I heard their cricket game was very mediocre. I forget. I I don't know if I don't know what did they do Don Bradman cricket or did they do something else we are set to Now I have to look Big Ant Studios April Fools pitch Ashes Cricket 2013 Don Bra Oh yeah they did do Don Bradman cricket okay Rugby League Live which I heard was not good. AFL Live, I heard, was not good. This game, I don't think too many people cared all that much. 
Uh, they did the World of Outlaws games, really? The Legend of Spyro? I mean, they seem to have, like, some games underneath the hood. I mean, they didn't do, like, the original Spyros, but, I mean, they're listed under, like, some of the newer ones that no one talks about. So I don't know what that says about about them. There we go. Like, anytime I ever hear anyone talk about Spyro in a positive light is with Skylanders. That's about it. Seven, seven point seven, seven point three. I'd say that's pretty good. All right. Hey, can we, like, I'd appreciate actually winning. Actually being able to score a goal. I don't trust any of y'all. Oh, I thought I had it. So, like, I would appreciate Big Ant Studios being willing to make it. Whether or not it's some game that you would want to be, um, that you'd want to be, um, hey, there you go. Whether it's something you'd want to compare to NCAA Football 14. Eh. Wow. One quarter and it's only one to one. Damn. We've had so many shots on goal. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I did spend my money getting um, Iowa Barnstormer season tickets, so I'm excited about that. I don't have a lot of money left, which is not good because I need I need some extra like I have money coming in. I'm supposed to have coming in from uh, a, a union grievance, but it still hasn't come in and it got approved like back in December. And I'm going to need that soonish because if I'm setting my flight up for my cruise, it'd be good to have the money to actually buy buy the plane ticket <laughs> very nice I'll get some money I'll get some money off of uh, my dad for the season tickets because I bought two tickets and he and I both kind of go in on our own season tickets uh, to kind of have like father son bonding time since you know we we kind of we hang out, but like you know, I don't see my parents all the time. Every few weeks or so, and you know, the football games are a good way to kind of have like that that bonding time. <laughs> What's the union grievance? Um, basically, I was supposed to get I was supposed to get um, overtime at work. So I could get some extra pay. They didn't call me. And they did this literally like three times. So I got money for three different times that this happened. So it's a hefty amount of change coming to me. And I was expecting it by now. And I was told to expect it by now. And it still hasn't showed up. So I'm a little worried. Because I've had some bills that I've paid off. Make sure that I'm all set up. And not dealing with uh, too much awfulness, but the only person you've met who bought tickets for an IFL team, it's the Barnstormers. You know, they, they've got history. I, I've seen some people at Barnstormers games that I, they've probably been there. There's, there are, I'd assume, with the way certain people are dressed and the fact that they seem fairly old, I guarantee you that some of the people that I've sat around for the Barnstormers games last season have been there since, like, the 90s. Like, when Kurt Warner played for us. When when Kurt Warner was a young, up-and-coming football player who was a fairly unknown. That's, that's how long ago. These people are set up for that. <laughs> <clears throat> Other teams, I don't know how I don't know how well they do. 
But the Barnstormers have, like, history behind them. IFL has Iowa and Arizona, yep. In fact, that's who our home opener is against on Saturday is Arizona. <laughs> uh, what happened to the Arena Football League? Yeah, I think it has five teams actually now. I think I, I think a fifth team is uh, starting up this season. Or maybe it has five teams and there's going to be six. I can't remember. But, yeah, not a lot of teams. Like, even the IFL has 12. It's kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I also had, I also had the, um, I also had the front office of the Iowa Wild call me today, because he asked me, he's like, hey, uh, Tyler, I noticed, uh, I, I noticed that you had recently gone to an Iowa Wild game, and I was like, yeah, and he was like, oh, I was just kind of wondering, you know, who do you who do you go with? How many? He, like he mentioned, he was from the Iowa Wild front office, so I'm like, okay. He's like, okay, who do you go with? I'm like, yeah, just usually a few friends. You know, there's usually anywhere between two to four of us, and, you know, we go hang out. And he's like, oh, okay, you know, how many times have you been this season? I'm like, well, I've probably been to, like, ten games this season. He's like, oh, well, you know, if you can't do season tickets, you know, they have these nice ten-game packages, and, and uh, oh, let's see if I, oh, damn it. He's like, we have these nice 10-game packages for you, so you can choose the dates, and they can all be, you know, they can all be Saturdays so that you can actually go there and, and uh, you know, not have to worry about that, and you'll have the same seats, and then you'll have the same, um, you'll have the same, uh, what is it, um, like opportunities, the same, like, benefits as the season ticket holders, just as a smaller price with lesser games. I'm like, oh, damn. So yeah, it's it, yeah, it's in a more established league because Iowa's had a Iowa's had a minor league hockey team for a while now. We've been changing names for a while, but the Wild have been around for a few years now. Because it was the Stars, which I didn't mind that. Then it was the Chops, and I wasn't too fond of the Chops, but now it's the Wild, and I like that. But uh, yeah, he told me about that because I was like, yeah, I kind of just paid for season tickets for the barnstormers and he's like oh okay that's you know what that's fine man if uh if it's a financial thing you know we offer monthly we offer uh, monthly plans i'm like oh shit <laughs> he's like and i and it was one of those things that when he talked to me about it it was like oh yeah you can get like a 100 you can get like a lower bowl seat for these 10 games for like 1250 a month i'm like christ that's like nothing 1250 a month that's like a netflix subscription Except you're just going to hockey games. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. Oh, come on. I had the sidestep and everything. Couldn't make it happen. So, yeah, he was like, okay. So, you know, because I told him I'd probably have to talk to my friends. And I, I messaged him right after that call, too. But he told me, he was like, okay, well, uh, there's a Saturday game coming up March 24th. And uh, if you if you want to discuss it and discuss doing like these uh, ticket packages with you and your friends, uh, you know, you guys can, you know, in order to in order to discuss that, you guys can come uh, come to the wild game on the 24th as guests of ours. And like uh, like in my mind, I'm like, is, is he talking about us being there for free? Because <laughs> he said he's a guest of ours, that, that we're a guest of his. So that means. Oh boy. And he's like, yeah, you know, we can like give you a little bit of a tour because the season ticket holders get to kind of uh, get like a little tour before uh, games if you want to kind of uh, poke around the locker room. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Tyler's about to spend some money. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and to be fair, for 12, for like $12.50 a month. It's so nothing. And then on top of that, what he told me on top of that is that um, because the Minnesota Wild are having a preseason game here in Des Moines in, like, September. Yeah, they're having a preseason game in September here in Des Moines. I forget who they're facing. I think it might be, like, the Kings or something. And he said that, like, season ticket holders will get, like, free admission to that. I'm like, <laughs> excuse me? 
<laughs> oh shit. That's that's fucked. <laughs> Similar thing with college football didn't involve free games, I know. To be fair, you know, they probably couldn't do that. They probably wouldn't do that with, like, major league hockey. They probably wouldn't do that with NHL teams. But, you know, minor league teams getting people getting people to be loyal fans to show up to all these games. You know. I think I think getting, you can get away with it with, like, minor league teams. So I was like, oh, okay, that sounds kind of awesome. It would have been amazing if it happened like last season when um, when uh, they had a couple of the guys here who were like NHL caliber guys because they had um, Alex Stalock who used to be, I think it was either like the, the goalie for the Shark, like he played for the Sharks, like the San Jose Sharks, and he was down in Iowa <laughs> playing a season for us. And my buddy is a huge Sharks fan. So he was like excited to know whenever Staylock last season was in the goal. Receives the pass. Uh, what? <clears throat> Minor league teams usually haven't quite gotten the whole shakedown for billion dollar stadiums and see seeing fans as meat sacks with wallets stage. <laughs> They're in that customer service stage. Or, you know, minor league teams just don't really have the same output as, like, a major league team. So they got to, you know, create some loyalty. If they know that I've been there to a bunch of games and I'm very willing to sign on for, like, a decent package, then, yeah. That goal represents the amount of chance. Sorry, that's for Bush. <laughs> uh Damn. But like I told my I think I told a couple of my one of my friends seemed interested. The other two didn't get back to me. But I basically am with the mindset of like, you know what? If they don't get back to me, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do it myself. I don't care. Like for the price of a Netflix subscription, I could just do 10 games next season. <laughs> <laughs> and have a dedicated spot and have like the season ticket holder benefits oh damn i wish the other people on my team were like set to you know what i'm going to i'm going to let my the other guys do this oh my god why did you move I'm going to let the other guys on my team try. I seem to be pretty good. At, I, I've been good at shooting, but you know what? I, I want to give them a shot. <laughs> maybe that's what I'm doing is maybe as I'm getting in the way with all my shots. Here we go. But yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I was kind of excited when he started telling me about this. I'm like, oh shit, it looks like I'm getting some ticket packages for next season. <laughs> God damn it. And to be fair, I got my, I got my, uh, I, I was going to do like some, some nice, I was going to do like, oh God, just smack the shit out of him. I was going to do like a really nice uh, season ticket deal for the barnstormers but i ended up getting like slightly cheaper tickets instead and you know season two i think i got them for like 120 bucks and they come with a fair amount of perks last season season tickets for the barnstormers had probably more perks than the actual cost where it was like yeah the barnstormers are paired up with with this uh mechanic shop and here's a card for five free oil changes for the throughout the next year i'm like jesus that was not what's commonly known as a hard sell. No. Where are they in the arena? I don't know. Jesus. You get in my circle? Ah, 
we need something. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, it's tiring. Four big arena football leagues now. Yeah, there's like the AFL, the IFL. Um, There's a couple others, I guess. Really? I can't. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm what's called <laughs> I'm what's called a cheap whore. <laughs> That's my deal. You want to give me free admission to the game and give me discounts on other cocky games? Sure, I'll pay. <laughs> Yeah, I think the Barnstormer season tickets had something kind of like that too. I'd have to, I'd have to see because I think they also said like there's a, um, like there's I don't know if it's a preseason thing or a postseason thing, but there's like a party with the team and coaches. Like the the coaches and team have a party with the um, with the season ticket holders, and yeah, you're you're like invited to like this dinner. And it's like, oh shit, that sounds amazing. And then there's, and then you get like little, like little. I think I still have like my uh, card from last year with like the little things, like a couple of local bar and grills, getting like you know like a free appetizer with an entree, something like that, you know. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take hold of this bitch. Really? What the fuck happened? I forgot there's also like a go-kart place down the road for me. Because like they had they had a uh, they had like uh, discount stuff for the go-kart place as well. I meant to pass it. I'm just being awful today. And I forgot that the, the go-kart place was there, and then they ran um, – they, they, the, uh, they have the Wrestling Revolver promotion. There you go. The Wrestling Revolver promotion here in Iowa. Except now, like, they had, they had several, they had several uh, shows here, and now they're doing shows, like, everywhere. I don't know. Maybe they just don't sell as much here. But they had like um, I think like the day before a show, they had a um, a party with like the roster, where there was like for X amount of dollars you can go to the go kart place where the wrestlers are at, and they like advertised like Trevor Lee and like a couple other guys. I can't remember who all it was, but I was like for some reason like having the go kart place logo with Trevor Lee doing his like meh face. It's just odd to me. I don't know if that would have been I don't know if that would have been like awesome or like really awkward. Of course we just get our shit pushed in. That's all for now. Join us next time for more lacrosse action. Yay. We're mediocre. Not quite level ten. Oh, I did have that. Oh, damn it. Really? <sighs> Weekly reputation. Hey, it, we, we lost, but we still went up the ranks. So now we face Cornell. All right. I feel like we're going to backdoor our way in somehow. I feel like that's how this is going to work, is we're going to, like, backdoor our way into whatever tournament that there is at the end of this. 
that might be another thing is it's not it's my it's probably not very um accurate to um how college lacrosse works here but i kind of assumed as much with the fact that they're australian developers because like i heard about like when i heard about ao tennis i had no idea what the ao stood for and then i realized it was australian open and then i was like oh you know what between AFL, AO Tennis, Don Bradman's Cricket, I think this might be an Australian game developer de- development studio. Did I stick around for the main event yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, I watched the main event. It was pretty good. I liked it. Will did a good job. Put up a good fight. I'd say the ending, uh, like the ending, like few minutes was pretty good. It it was like a, it was kind of a slow start. It was one of those things that like it was it was a slow start, like as if they would go for like a healthy amount of time, but like it didn't it didn't speed back up until like the last five minutes. Like it was it was still pretty good, but it just felt very slow for eighty percent of the uh, of the match. Which is weird to say for a um, for a Will Osprey match. <clears throat> this list is far, far too big. Oh yeah, <laughs> defunct arena football teams. A good portion of them I've now like re reinstituted into XFL teams. Come on, no. Come here. Stands are way too full. I know there's so many people for a lacrosse game. Apparently, it's actually gotten a lot more popular in recent years. Apparently, I don't think this many people would be here for it, but apparently college lacrosse has gotten more popular. I remember seeing something about it, how it would get, you know, 10,000 plus people. But this is like... This is the, it feels like they're using arenas like they're using stadiums from whatever other game they were using and it's filling it out way more than it should be. <laughs> the DDT show with Reka and Ladybeard teaming up is on the 14th. Okay. <clears throat> then again, you can look at WWE and know like WWE doesn't like are, they are not really accurate with their representation on uh, events because I feel like if you were to if you were to look at like the <laughs> they couldn't they couldn't I don't think they could put it in a game where if you have the camera over on the hard cam side you would see all the tarps it's like oh there's so many people here not not times when they're sectioning off the upper bowl because they couldn't sell or whatnot. Lacrosse is a big draw, but not Villanova or Ohio State. Are you telling me that Ohio State isn't known for their lacrosse? Color me shocked. How about wherever the fuck we're at? Was it Cornell? Isn't that an Ivy League school? I forget. What do I have? Six shots, achieve four goal assists. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm almost certainly going to have the six shots, though. That's definitely going to happen. Damn it. Cornell is the Ivy. Everyone has to ask to be reminded if it's an Ivy. <laughs> I, if I remember the Ivy League schools, it's like Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth, Cornell, I think Brown. I think there's another one in there somewhere. I don't think Georgetown is one. No. Georgetown's, I think, something else. I thought there's something similar to that. I can't remember now. <laughs> NCAA championship typically draws 30 to 40K. 
It's every game we're playing in is the NCAA championship then. Princeton, Penn, and Columbia. There we go. I, 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 I'm I seeing like Penn's. I was seeing Penn's logo in my head. I just couldn't remember it. Like I remember seeing it from like college hoops. I should have remembered Princeton too. I have no idea why I didn't remember that. Columbia is another one where it's like, oh, yeah. Eyes on the X now for the restart. Blue ball. I think everyone just remembers Harvard and Yale mostly, and maybe Dartmouth. Like, you could go to an Ivy League school. Oh, look at that shit. Like, you could go to one of the lesser, lesser known Ivy League schools, and it's probably just as prestigious, if not more, in certain aspects. But no one really, it's like, it's like, I went to an Ivy League school. Oh, where'd you go? Brown. Who? Like, God damn it. It's well known. <laughs> Ivy League and the military academies are the hardest places to recruit to. I'd imagine. Wasn't Army? I thought Army was actually pretty good at recruiting their people. Navy, Navy I mostly assume because of, I think, like their football if I remember the right, their football, uh, <clears throat> their football team has an odd. They have like a very, very odd offensive style. I I kind of remember that. I remember like at one point I tried to run. I went a couple of games where I tried to run like the Navy offense in NCAA 14, and it was just like, oh, this is something. <clears throat> Army in their first winning season since he hit puberty this year. <laughs> Speaking of teams not doing well, how about Iowa State basketball? Oh, my God. That's all right. At least you're in an Ivy League school, right? Bank. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was kind of disappointed at Iowa State basketball. I was like, holy crap. How did we get this bad? Apparently, they're in, like, the Big 12 tournament somehow, which I'm only assuming everyone's in the Big 12 tournament. <clears throat> Considering, I think, Iowa State's dead last in the Big 12. Cornell's basically a state school. The others are well-regarded. Yeah, I figured. Oh, yeah, Columbia's pretty well-regarded, too. I remember that. I never really heard anything where it's like, oh, man, Brown University is the best at this. Everyone participates in the big. Yeah, but actually 10. I know the big 12, but it's actually yeah, but it's 10 people. Did I have it or did someone else have it? I couldn't tell. That's all right. We'll probably end up losing. I think we face Texas. We're probably going to lose. It's weird how the downfall of Iowa State basketball happened in college hoops, and it'll probably happen in real life. I think the best case scenario for Iowa State basketball is that Hoiberg, Hoiberg uh, ends up failing as a coach at Chicago and ends up getting fired, comes back to Iowa State and lead us back to the promised land. <laughs> And then he realizes that he's where he's built, where he belongs. <laughs> I imagine Iowa State probably doesn't pay as much as other places. Like I imagine, I imagine like the the big football colleges pay their coaches extremely well. So why would they ever want to leave? But you know. Harvard, Princeton, Yale, the Holy Trinity. Princeton and Penn compete for a lot. The same people. Penn has a ton of professional degrees. Penn almost says no. What? Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Imagine if I made that.
God damn it. Iowa State makes enough TV money if they're basically a big football school. <laughs> That's at least pretty good. I guess being part of the Big 12 is probably good. Having having that screen time with, uh, you know, Texas and Oklahoma and I think OK State's been pretty good. I forget who's been, like, amazing. I know it's not Iowa State. Well, I guess I guess we did pretty good this year, but I know it's not Iowa State, and I know it's not Kansas, and it's I know it's not Baylor. <laughs> but the other teams, that's where it's at. <laughs> oh, yeah, TCU and West Virginia, I think, are there as well. Hey, hey. Penn as much person agrees. Princeton has almost none. Huh. Big 10 has 14 teams. So does the Atlantic 10. What, who else did they gain? Because I remember they had, I remember the thing was is that the Big 10 had 12 teams and the Big 12 had 10 teams. But who else, who else just joined the Big 10? Ooh. Ooh. I started drinking something and realized we were on offense. That's not that's not great. Hey! Rutgers is in the Big Ten. Why? You know, we pretty much had the Ohio State goalie dead to rights and couldn't put him in. This guy, we could put him in from halfway across the field if we wanted it's just going to make this easy on me. The original members plus Nebraska, Rutgers, and Maryland. Oh, Jesus. Like, I know Nebraska came from the Big 12. Rutgers, I can't remember where they came from. And then Maryland. I didn't even know Maryland was it. Wasn't, wasn't Maryland like a, I think, weren't they like an ACC school? Why would you, why would you? Why would you leave that? I mean, I guess the Big Ten has some, you know, big teams in there, but not that many. Yeah, I thought they were the ACC. Maybe they're not as prestigious anymore <laughs> as they used to be. Everyone's on the SEC train. Mariners right outside DC. That matters to the TV money changers. And save. Worth a shot. Recover it. They'll be looking for the fast break. I forget what else I wanted to play at some point. Because I thought NHL 2K10. Oh. 33 miles from NYC, which to TV dorks and prestigious Midwestern University president means it's in NYC. It might as well, yeah. Ah, that big New York City market. I mean, I guess it's I guess it's a big enough span that it would be enveloped in that New York City market, because it's like it'd either be there or it'd be like Albany, and I think it's way too far away from Albany or Buffalo to be part of theirs. So NYC. <laughs> yeah, every other Big Ten member is in the Midwest, though. So. <laughs> so then when people got to go play them, it's just a ridiculous amount of traveling. God damn it. <clears throat> With the pass, collects chance for them now. 
Ah, uh, damn. New York City's way too big to be owned by anyone, but that sure shit didn't stop Yukon. Wait, Yukon? Wait, Yukon and Syracuse. Wait, Syracuse is like upstate, though, isn't it? Syracuse is much closer to Buffalo and Albany than New York City. That's one thing. Like that's at least at least Syracuse is in the state, I think. But they're like upstate New York, if I remember right. Yukon doesn't even make sense. I mean, they're the it literally means the University of Connecticut. How the hell I mean, I know I know like that area around them is like super small because I think it's like three hours from New York to Boston. It's not far. But that just feels weird, like Yukon being like, yeah, New York City. Like, no. <laughs> How about Hartford? Syracuse.nyc. Oh my god. I might be I might be completely ignorant, but I'm pretty sure they're like upstate New York. I'm pretty sure Syracuse is like upstate New York. So being NYC is ridiculous. Hey! Syracuse University and New York's college team football fan map. Oh, my God. Whoops. Oh, crap. No, don't ban you. I mean, that's five hours away. Yeah, that's it's closer to Canada than it is New York City. <laughs> that's ridiculous. It really is like closer to Canada than it is New York City. Sorry, there we go. Oh, let me put this back up. Fastest route to get from Syracuse to NYC is through Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Yeah, it's like it's like when WrestleMania did. Um, it, it's like when WrestleMania did the uh, in the. Uh, MetLife Stadium. It's in East Rutherford, New Jersey, but it's like New York, New Jersey, because New York. It's like, it's practically there. It's like, God damn it. No. no. It's like, I get it. Like, New York is more marketable than New Jersey, but fuck. I start calling Syracuse Canada's college team. <laughs> I think, I think, like, I got to think about this. I think it's less of a drive. If you go from Syracuse, it's less of a drive to get poutine than it is a, a Philly cheesesteak or a New York-style deep dish pizza. They don't do deep dish, do they? I think they do thin crust. Is that the New York style? Chicago does deep dish. Doesn't New York do thin crust? <laughs> if you want <laughs> to... Oh, God damn it. I think if you want to call yourself NYC, it should be a shorter distance to get authentic New York style cheesecake than it is to get poutine. <laughs> That's gotta hurt with a display of raw power. That would that would be like that would be like us here, like five hours. That would be like um, the, it's actually closer. It's actually, I think, three, three and a half maybe hours from the University of Iowa to Chicago. That'd be like those of us in Iowa being like, "Yeah, man, we're in the Chicago. We're in the we're in the Chicago TV. You know, we're gonna claim that Iowa City, Chicago, close enough." I can't wait till someone drops a link at that exact thing happening. Like, yeah, big TV, big TV market team. 
MetLife Stadium is like 10, 10 minutes away. Foxborough, where UConn football plays, is 93. And in Boston. The, the weirdness of having less pride about being from Boston than from being from New York. Like, I know Boston's like the little brother, but Jesus. All big conferences are ruining college sports. <laughs> That big Chicago TV market, that big Chicago market team, the University of Iowa. <laughs> Damn it. That's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, shit. According to MLB, Iowa is in Chicago's market. I mean, but that's mostly because, like, there's nothing. Like, the only other closest... I mean, to be fair, if you're trying to get, if you're trying to get, get like, because Iowa doesn't have, I, I guess Iowa does have Chicago's AAA team, so it kind of makes some sense. And like the only other, the only other potential market would be, like Kansas City, St. Louis, and Minnesota, all which are about like St. Louis is about as far away as Chicago is. Minnesota and Kansas City are closer. But I would assume that we're considered part of Chicago's market because we have their we have their triple uh, A team here. Like I actually used to live downtown, and I lived probably like half a mile away from the stadium. There were a lot of times I actually thought of like I I'm kind of surprised at myself that at the time, then again I was trying to save some money. I think if I was still living down there, it'd be a little bit different. But um, at the time, hey, there we go. At the time, I lived like half a mile away from the baseball stadium, the AAA baseball stadium. I could have just like walked. Be like, eh, I'm going to go to the baseball game. Yay, 12 more. Um, Shooting. Let's just max out that shooting now. Um, let's do stick check and I guess agility. There we go. <clears throat> Notre Dame, which beat Scott Schaefer in the orange last week at MetLife, has more fans than Syracuse on Staten Island and Long Island. And Michigan Wolverines fans are in the majority for Midtown, Lower Manhattan, and parts of Brooklyn. Why Michigan? Oh, look. Another Ivy League team. Oh, I can't change it. Oh, well. All this nonsense in the end of historic rivalries. Why big conferences are ruining everything. They get the NCAA allow player compensation. It'll basically kill college sports. Yeah, that'll be... Interesting. They should really, they should really be looking at, like, I I know like minor league football, like the closest thing to minor league football would be arena football, and it doesn't really prepare you. It doesn't really prepare you for um, for like actual eleven on eleven football. But you could be like, hey, this Kurt Warner guy came from here and he did pretty good. Maybe it works. Hey. Good start. This guy really knows how to score goals. Seems like every time we see him, if he's break away like the Premier League. As I say, what how how does how has that worked? Like I know what the Premier League is, I don't really know what they've done. Here we go now for the Maybe that's maybe that's what they can have the XFL be. Maybe if the XFL stays around long enough, NFL can buy them out and make them like a minor league system. Like, listen, you can go to college. You can go to college or you can go to the XFL. <laughs> It'd be interesting. We want to prepare you for 11-on-11 11 11 football. So you need to report to the San Francisco Demons or the Los Angeles Extreme. Passes. Transition opportunity. 
You need to be fully prepared for the NFL. You need to be prepared to play football at the highest level. We need you to report to the Memphis Maniacs. Ooh, just barely got that in. Early 90s, the Premier League broke away from the Football League on to govern themselves and negotiate contracts independently of the rest of the league system. Interesting. Ah, shit. It's worked out well for teams with sugar daddies, and that's about it. Ah. So those with, like, big payrolls do well, much like the MLB. <laughs> AFL do do promotion relegation with AF2. I think I think they did bring some AF2 teams like like when they when they shut down the AF2, they eventually just took those teams into the AFL. But I mean, they didn't I think that was the I think that was the thing is they might have who knows what they might have done when arena football was like big at that point, but I think by the time they could have done anything like that with promotion and relegation, um, they were pretty like they they were pretty much like financially strained by that point, which is why they were shutting down so many AFL teams and then promoting AF two teams to AFL. Yeah, that sounds a lot like the MLB now, where they don't really have a salary cap. It's just how much money do you have to spend on people? Moving the ball. Passes it off. I imagine, though, at some point, they're probably going to have player compensation happen. Although, you know what? I don't. I do feel bad for um, who was it? Ed O'Bannon was he the guy that started like the big uh, deal? I think he was the guy who started like the original thing, and like I feel bad because I saw him tw like post something on Twitter about how they're actually looking at the NCAA and like how they deal with players and how they deal with like compensation and all that. Because it was a thing where it's like, okay, in video games and just in schools, like you can use these people to make profit, but these college athletes can't make anything. And it's it, it, that killed the NCAA games. Yeah, that's another thing because I kind of feel bad for him because I can kind of see his side where it's like, okay, understandably enough, they, they want to make – if you're going to profit however goddamn much money the school is profiting off them, which – Jesus, with, like, Alabama. Alabama has a 90,000-seat stadium. They're making some big goddamn money for the school. And the players get nothing. <laughs> so I kind of I see the point. If you don't want to compensate them yourself, at least allow them, like... It, it, there should be an allowance of, like, okay... Well, the scholarship is kind of useless because we're not sending you to college for much of anything. 90K seats, you're going to get shot if you imply that in Alabama. I was like, it's like, it's a, it's a monstrous stadium, isn't it? It might not be, not be quite 90,000, but it's, it's a ridiculous amount. Like, they have a ridiculously huge stadium for their football games. I actually watched like an evolution of uh, of the uh, Alabama like like an evolution of the Alabama stadium, and it starts off like when they first had it. It was like, oh yeah, capacity is one hundred and one thousand. I'm sorry, I undershot it. I was thinking I overshot it. Nope, I undershot it. <laughs> one hundred and one thousand. But, like, I watched, like, the history of, like, their stadium where it was, like, it started off with, like, the humble beginnings of a giant, like, one side 15,000 seats. And it's like, all right, that's cool. And then they, like, added on to the other side to make it, like, 25,000. And you just watch it get, like, bigger and bigger till it, like, the original thing back in, like, the 1800s. 
or whenever the hell it started is like just minuscule in comparison to the gigantic stadium that they have now. So I kind of I kind of feel bad that like there probably should be a little bit of something for them because, you know, you might not make, you know, it's kind of known that you're not really not going to make money um, until you get to the professional leagues and you might suffer some sort of career ending injury before that happens. Tenants comes out to like 200K and they're all standing. Jesus. But I felt bad because, like, any time that Ed O'Bannon seems to ever post on Twitter about anything relegated to the NCAA, it's always a litany of people going, "Thanks for ruining the, thanks for ruining the NCAA games. You ruined this, blah 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 blah." And it's just like, and it's like he didn't ruin it. It's just he he's the first person to ask some questions. And bring something up about it. And because of that, they can't be using stuff. But yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's kind of shitty. Because like, if he made it in, if he made it in sports, he wouldn't, it wouldn't really be... If, like, if he, if he became a LeBron James who made like a bunch of money... He probably wouldn't care, and he wouldn't have ever brought it up. And now a lot of it is kind of mostly based off of, you know, just the fact that they got to, uh, it, you know, the fact that he's being represented as, is, you know, in a game where he's not getting compensated for. And I kind of always knew there was probably some sort of, like, with all the NCAA games not being able to use their names, it's like their likenesses are there, but really can't use their names ever. I kind of always knew that there was, like, a little bit of, of like, legal gray area with that. I kind of always figured. It's like they're really skating a line here, aren't they? <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I'd want to be the guy who who ends up like ends up like inadvertently ruining a video game franchise. Like inadvertently stopping any the you know anyone ever doing an, uh, uh, an NCAA game at any time in the near future. And now, you know, people are just like lambasting him on Twitter every time. It's like, this just feels, this just feels um, immature. It's like, I get it. You want the games back, but shit. For a free, yeah, the pro leagues milk him for a free farm league too. Halftime already. Regardless of whether you are winning or losing, possession is critical. Second half coming right up. Don't go anywhere. Hockey, baseball, basketball have some kind of pro thing kids could use if they didn't want to go to college. Just won't be wildly lucrative, yeah. To be fair, basketball actually has that. If you don't want to go to college, you can go to Europe or you can go overseas. You can if you if you don't want to do college, you can do time overseas, which is what the balls are doing. It's like you have to be a certain age and you have to either do a year of college or a uh, certain time overseas. And I I don't know if they can get paid for that, but I I would assume they might. High school draftees, because so many other draftees are so bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I think I think people really didn't care because some of the best draftees at one point 
you know, we're coming out of high school. But for like every LeBron James or I think Tracy McGrady or, or maybe it wasn't McGrady. I, think, I can't remember if McGrady went to college. Allen Iverson came from high school, if I remember right. But for every LeBron James and Allen Iverson, there's like 20 Adam Morrisons. And and um, and uh, Kwame Browns. <laughs> the NFL has the Browns. But the NBA has like six organizations run us poorly. Yeah. And I root for one of them. <laughs> and my team is one of them. Just remember the good old days of the Magic. Ugh. I think at some point, I might eventually be done with this. I don't remember. Oh, Iverson did come from a college. Okay. Then it had to have been McGrady who came from high school. Because I remember someone came from... God, now I can't remember. <laughs> Must have been McGrady. <clears throat> Yep, 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 yep. I'm just, I'm just taking shots at this point because it's like we're up by enough. I'll just take shots. <laughs> McGrady and Kobe both did, yeah. How did I forget Kobe? How did I, how did I forget Kobe came from high school? Opens up and shoots. Jacobson. Transition opportunity. <sighs> you know, I really thought they were going to do another college hoops game when they started introducing like NCAA teams again. And I know it's probably a lot just to get the 11 teams that they had in like 2K16 or whatever. But I was really getting excited because I'm like, all right, 11 down, 320 to go. Ah. Moving the ball. Riley receives the pass. Anderson knocking it free. Great work from the defender there. Saved by the goal. Ball cupping for the NCAA teams in that. They're all terrified of legal liability. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I feel like what they're trying to do with Gridiron Champions might be the only way we're going to get something like that again. And it sucks, but it's probably just life. I was just about to get something to drink. Come on. There, shoot it. Oh. With the save. Knocks it loose. I'm getting just the most incessant tweets on my Twitter right now. It's just insanity. It's like, why am I getting why am I getting this? <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to end up, like, removing something at some point for WMMA 5 because I feel like I need to do some WMMA 5 eventually. Same with Texas and Oregon and the new Madden. Oh, boy. Underway again now. Oh, shit.
I did have an idea. Like, um, it's probably still at least a year out. But I did have an idea in my head for um, for uh, TEW when the next one comes out. Like, in my head, an idea for, like, how I could potentially continue the story if people wanted that. Like, I, I had I had this in my head. Like, I kind of know what I want to do when the next TEW comes out. That was, that was something, like, that literally, I probably literally spent, like, half an hour just laying in bed thinking of that. It's really, this is how nerdy I am about this. I spend too much time thinking about this. <laughs> Ah, almost makes you want the new Madden, except dear God, <laughs> fuck my EA. Yeah, I'm pretty much like done with EA. Like that was, like I, I think I was, um, yeah, I was talking to my, uh, I was talking to my roommate about that, and and uh, because he was asking me about the next generation of consoles, because he was like, hey, you know, how long has it been since the last generation? And I'm like, oh, it's. I looked it up and I'm like, okay, it was like holiday of 2013, so maybe not this year, but maybe we'll hear something about another console next year, which it's insane to think about, by the way, because it felt like it hasn't felt like it's been that long, but it really is like in cycles of like six or six or seven years. I think is about what it stands at, because I think like Xbox came out. Like, Xbox 360 came out in, like, what, 2006, I think? And then Xbox One came out 2013. So everything has about a six to seven year life before the next one comes out. And it wasn't even, it didn't even hit me until, like, until he t asked me about that. He's the guy who mom met six months ago. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he asked me because he's like, oh, yeah, you still going to stay with PlayStation? I'm like, uh, I, I really don't know. I'm probably not. <laughs> Just because of, like, I've been so big on PC gaming at this point since I, like, rediscovered my love of PC gaming and my gigantic Steam library full of, like, games I don't play. But I bought them on sale because they're on sale. I am that guy. If you ever, if you've ever thought to yourself, like, if you ever thought to yourself about the meme, of like the guys, the people going, oh no, here goes my wallet. Steam sales are coming. I'm not as bad anymore because I realize that I don't want to spend all that money. But there was times where, like, I was that guy. I I was the living and breathing entity of that meme, of like, oh, all right, I want to buy, I want to buy this game because it's. 75% off. <clears throat> yeah, at this point, I, I'm going to probably stick with my PC. I'll just add... A, I'll, uh, for the money, I'll just add a couple new hard drives. I got the space for it. Just add some new hard drives in for extra space. Hey, hey, look at that shit. Uh, we're just like... We're just, we're just breaking them right now. But... I told him I'm probably not going to do a PlayStation or an Xbox, at least immediately. I got my Switch. My Switch is enough. And I've been going, like, all in on the Switch stuff. Even though I have my own... Oh, my God. We're just destroying them at this point. We're just embarrassing them now. And, you know, between the Switch having stuff for, you know, multiplayer stuff that I can take to a friend's place... You know, like I like I don't stream on Fridays because I'm generally busy going to going, you know, out hanging out with friends after work and just drinking and playing video games. And my switch is perfect for that because it's literally it's literally a point where now like every every week they ask me, they're like, hey, do you bring your switch? I'm like, yes, I bring my switch every goddamn week. Why wouldn't I bring my switch? Every week they still ask, hey, man, did you bring your Switch? Yes, I brought my Switch. I always bring my Switch. I don't plan on not bringing my... I don't plan on just showing up empty-handed and just being like, I thought you guys didn't want me to bring it. The only thing I have left now is to build, 
Like build a uh, semi-portable computer. That's my next. That's my next thing. I don't want a console. <laughs> I'll just I'll just have like a semi-portable computer that um, a semi-portable computer that I could carry if I really wanted to, and then my Switch. I don't need Microsoft or Xbox. <laughs> And then, like, I told them, I'm like, everything, because everything these days that's on consoles is pretty much on PC as well, except, like, EA Sports games. Like, not even 2K. 2K puts their stuff on there, but EA Sports games. That's about it. And I don't need to buy, like, an Xbox or PS4 to play Madden or NHL when I won't be interested in it anyway. How did I already go up levels? Jesus. Two weeks wages down towards the 1080i. I really should. Probably not yet, though. I mean, those things are uber expensive. Maybe in the next like couple years, when people stop freaking out over, um, when people stop like shitting their pants over, uh, uh, coin. Like, um, it's like Bitcoin. I can't remember, but. Yeah, stuff like that. Wow, I can't even remember. I remember Bitcoin, but that's not the name of it. Cryptocurrency. Yeah, once people stop cryptocurrency mining, then then I'll look into a new one. Yeah, I know. I actually I actually the best like I I actually um am fine with what I got. <laughs> I got a 970, which is like kind of underpowered. But yeah, a 1050, I think, is probably about as high as we'll go right now. Anything else is just stupid. <clears throat> Do it soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're not going to stop. I feel like it'll eventually happen. Cryptocurrency is coming waves. Like, I remember when they first started talking about Bitcoin like four years ago, and now it's all of a sudden come back. Vegas 64, they're all gone immediately, and AMD lied about the pricing anyway. Jesus. <sighs> I think that'll be about it. Oh, man. I enjoy this conversation. I don't know if I want to if I want to just diddle-daddle on anything at this point. It's already, like, almost... It's already 6.30 for me. I've been enjoying the conversation though, <laughs> but it's it's time for me to it, like it's time for me to go to bed. I should be able to actually upload these videos because I had the hardest ever time this weekend. I guess I'll just tell this quick story. I had the hardest ever time this weekend with my computer consistently like overheating or having something die on me. And I kind of had a feeling that it was the fact that I hadn't dusted it in a while. And there was a lot of dust. So I bought like a dust can, which not surprisingly, they had to like check to make sure I wasn't some fucking druggie. And yeah, so now it's so yeah, now it's. um yeah, I just gave it a thorough cleaning, and now it seems to be working just fine. It's amazing. Yeah, at least we strung a couple of wins together. That's always nice. Oh, there's Brown. There, it, like lacrosse really is an Ivy League. Really, is just an Ivy League game, isn't it? Like you gotta be a. Uh, does it say? Are they? It's Vine, isn't it? Yeah, Yale, Penn, Princeton, Harvard, Dartmouth, Cornell. Just they're all there. <clears throat> well, there you go. 13th, that's not too bad, I'd say. I'm still surprised that we're here. What are other teams doing if we're 13th? 
Maryland is 12 and 2 in their 14th. How is that possible? Who have they lost to? Next game is against Delaware, which is each other's biggest rival. Oh boy. Holy Cross, Georgetown, Robert Morris. Ohio State is 14 and I just even realized Ohio State and Boston are both 14 and 0. Jesus. It looks like we'll beat Delaware pretty easily, though. That's cool. Yeah. ESPN did a poll of who was the most hated sports personality in each state. Every state except Delaware had some big known guy. Delaware was Villanova's football coach. <laughs> I want to see that now. Now now, now that you've mentioned that, I want to see that. You know what? I should at least end this, and then I'll just put it somewhere. All right. Yeah. So thank you, guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for continuing to watch. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you next time.